Yo, what's good, everybody? Hope y'all are having a super blessed day, and welcome back to Sharp Sports. Now, guys, today we're gonna be taking a look at a player that I'm just letting you know up front, he can literally do it all. This class of 2021 Ohio State commit is like a walking Superman out there. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the 6'5", 220 pound, five star strong side defensive end, as well as the best player in Ohio coming out of Pickerington North High School, Jack Sawyer. Now, real quick, Ben, Tony, and Justin, yeah, I'm talking to you guys. I, I see y'all every here every day. Yo, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for. And also, it, for all my Ohio State fans, be sure to hit that like button. Let's get this video to 700 likes for your top recruit in the class of 2021. Now, real quick, before we jump into Mr. Do It All, Jack Sawyer's highlight tape, I want to remind you guys that if you guys want to know more about God, the only thing that I love more than football is God. So you guys, if you want to learn more about God, go check out my second channel. It's going to be linked right there. It's called The Simple Gospel. If you guys just want to know more about God and what his word says, then please go check that video out, especially with the crazy times that we're living in. I, if you just guys just want to get your, your soul eased a little bit, just go check that channel out. All right, but with that being said, let's jump straight into Jack's highlight tape and see what the number one recruit in the class of 2021 for Ohio State's looking like. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's see what Ohio State's number one recruit in the class of 2021 is looking like. So this dude, first off, the top three players in the class of 2021 are all animals, and he's easily one of the i mean he's the number three recruit in the country so you already know he, he's got it all sit down little boy let's bro look at he does such a good job of using it he, he switches from speed to power so so well look at how he looks like he's about to go on the outside and then just boom just squares him straight up and just runs over him let's go i see you out here repping for ohio let's go Nice spin move. Let's go. Hey man, if I'm a top, if I'm a top D end, like, I don't know if you've been noticing this, but a lot of the top quarterbacks in the country have been going to Oklahoma just because way to get past them. Let's go. Simply because of how good Lincoln Riley is at just training up quarterbacks. So a lot of a lot of the top quarterbacks are going uh, going to Oklahoma. If I'm a top D end, I'm going to Ohio State because they have produced the Bosa brothers and now Chase Young. So clearly, if you go there, they know what to do with top D end and pass rushing talent. So, uh, yeah, Ohio State's Ohio State's turning into pass rush. You, bro, he has so much speed for his size. Wait, they got him at quarterback. Yo, name me another name me another D end that you got at quarterback. Yo, he's got some low key. He's he's got some speed. Bro, he does such a good job. Like I always tell, I always tell the DNs this. Like, whenever there's a blocker in front of you, just like engage in that block. Don't try and don't try and get around it. Like blow that lead block up. You have teammates that can clean up too. But if you do it, bro, look at this, look at this move. Look at how he how he fakes inside, goes up high, and then just bro, then just dips down low. He's he has such a good arsenal of just pass rushing moves. Go hunt him down. Go hunt him down. Yo, when he gets when he when he gets that that pursuit angle, he is he, you're just not you're not getting away from him. Those a hundred percent look like Florida's uniforms, like to the T, with the stripe down the middle and everything. <laughs> hey, look at this tackle, Bob. Sit down, little boy. Absolutely blew up the play. Yo, I mean, as a high school tackle, I wouldn't want to block him either, but you got to do a better job than that. See, like, I don't, I don't get like, bro, I really, I really, well, first off, both of these guys did, you, you can't, you can't be having, you can't be having your tackle trying to do a reach block when, when he's lining up that far away. That's crazy. And then running back, you got to help your tackle out. You got to at least slow him up a little bit. <laughs> he, he's going to eat all day on, on if you're going to try and block him like that. Who is this team that they're playing that looks exactly like this looks like Missouri versus Florida? Yo, him at <laughs> sit him down. Yo, I saw a couple of you guys say that he might be playing quarterback at Ohio State. I thought y'all were capping. I didn't know he actually was playing quarterback in high school. I mean, he looks more like a Wildcat quarterback rather than like an actual passing quarterback, but still. The fact that a D end has that much athleticism, up and over, let's go.
Bro, that his first step quickness is ridiculous. Yeah, Ohio State. If if I'm if I'm a top five pass rusher, I'm I'm easily going to Ohio State. Ohio State should be your, in your top three each and every single year. Ohio State just knows how to develop pass rushers. And his stance is so like everybody like for all my DNs out there, take notes. This dude, his his stance is money, so he can really explode out of his stance. And then just look at how explosive he is. Like you guys should all be looking to get that level of quickness. He does such a good job of transitioning from speed to power too. Like he, he, he'll, he'll make you think that he's going to the outside and then he just plants that outside foot into the ground and then just immediately gets his hands on the inside of that tackles on the inside of that tackles frame and just starts driving them back and knocks them back on their heels. And then when, when the tackles flat footed or on their heels, they basically won. You could move them wherever you want. Nope, way to get your hands involved. Yo, him at quarterback is scary though. Might might use him in certain packages over at Ohio State. Get him at some wildcat quarterback on like third and short situations. Get him, get your hands off of him. Rush to the outside, jump back inside. Never mind, it's not. He does and also look at how he look at how he gets guy's hands off of him like that's how he's able to get in, like obviously his physical frame and athleticism helps a lot too but something that a lot of dns don't do enough is getting tackles hands off of them the quicker you can get a, or if you could just not even let them get their hands on you period all that's going to do is allow you to get into the backfield that much faster bro when he starts pulling away from these guys that's when you that's when you oh, okay i see i see you cutting back against the grain let's go but anytime that you're able to get an, an offensive lineman's hands off of you, it just means that you can get into the backfield that much quicker. Again, him, if he, if they use him, if, if Ryan Day uses him in that offense on third and short situations as a Wildcat quarterback, it's a wrap. There, there's Ohio State, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I got Ohio State winning the next two to three natties. Like, they're building something different over there. If you haven't seen my top five Ohio State recruits, it's going to be in one of these corners. But you should go check out that video because Ohio State... Their 2020 recruiting class was, was disgusting, but then their 2021 recruiting class, oh, nice pick too, okay. Their 2021 recruiting class is even better than the 2020 recruiting class. Sit him down, bro, he was picking up blocks the whole way down. If you guys didn't know, earlier in Jack's recruiting process, he was ranked as the number one athlete in the class of 2021, but now they got him ranked as a strong side defensive end. He can literally play wherever he wants. His athleticism at 6'5", 220, and his mobility athleticism, his ability to go from speed to power or from power to speed, like he literally has it all. Wherever you need to plug him in, he can get it done there. Yeah, the Ohio native is going to be making this state proud by winning some games at Ohio State over the next couple of years. And like I said, if Ryan Day ends up using Jack Sawyer as an offensive weapon on third and short situations, it's a wrap. Nobody wants to tackle the 6'5", 220 guy. Just ask Derrick Henry and all the guys who try and tackle him. You basically got that in Jack Sawyer. But all right, you guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. All my Ohio State fans, let's get this video to 700 likes for your top recruit in the class of 2021. Also, don't forget to comment down below which player do you guys want to see me cover next because that lets me know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that i am a coming out with a yeah all right you guys with all that being said hope that y'all have a super blessed rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next video ciao I'm back, baby, with a love, with a lover.